What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Broadway Joel. If you like to stay up to date with boxing news, please hit that subscribe button. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. So Keith Thurman just announced that he's coming back January 29th against Mario Barrios. Now, I am excited for Keith Thurman's comeback. Keith Thurman is somebody who's fought Danny Garcia, fought Sean Porter, beat both those guys, fought Manny Pacquiao, lost. Although that fight, he did lose that fight. That was a close fight. Yes, he got dropped, but when they were announcing the decision, a lot of people didn't know who won or lost that fight. That was a close fight. A lot of people don't remember it as a close fight, but it was. And uh, the only thing is I don't like is that he's facing Mario Barrios, who's also coming off a loss. You know, they're both coming off losses. Keith Thurman's coming off a 30-month layoff, which is a long time. And this is a pay-per-view? Like, I don't know, man. Like, PBC got to stop playing with the fans, man. Yo, not every fight is a pay-per-view. That's not a pay-per-view fight. That's a fight you put on free Fox, on free Showtime. That fight is gonna is a pay-per-view with Fox. I don't know what deal PBC has with Fox that every paper every fight they put on with them has to be a pay-per-view. I don't know what's the deal, but I'm not happy with it and I don't like it at all. Now, as far as the fight, I actually like it. Mario Barrios is a you know a tough guy, but he's also moving up in weight. He's somebody who just coming off a loss. And that's a good comeback fight for Keith Thurman where it's not too, too easy. Where it's like, all right, it's just a tune-up, but he's going to blow this guy out. And it's also not too, too hard where he's facing a Terrence Crawford right away. You know, it's like the guy's coming off 30-month layoff and you're putting him in arguably against the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter. So I like the fight in, in the sense that it makes sense as to where Keith Thurman is in his career and where Mario Barrios is in his career. It makes sense that way. Also gives Mario Barrios a good chance of moving up to, let's say, uh, welterweight, beating a, a very known guy who's coming off a long layoff, and then building off his name off the tank loss and the Keith Thurman win. Who knows if there's a rematch clause? There's no discussion as to uh, at that. And there's also no discussion as to where the fight is going to be located. I believe Mario Barrios is from Texas. And uh, I know for a fact Keith Thurman is from Florida, so maybe it's held in one of those two states. Maybe they come back to Brooklyn. I know Keith Thurman loves fighting in, a, in the Barclays Center, so I don't see why he couldn't come back. I'm sure he has a lot of fans out here. But I, I'm, I'm excited for Keith Thurman's comeback because he's, he's a good talker, and that's something we're missing in the boxing world. Nobody in the welterweight division is a really a good talker. Terrence Crawford is kind of reserved, trash talker. Uh, Errol Spence... You know, he's not much of a trash talker, and neither is Boots or Virgil Ortiz. So he's somebody who comes into the picture, has a good mouthpiece, uh, and, you know, when he's on his game, is an entertaining fighter, does have power, so he become a player. But he could become a, a, a player in this current welterweight picture. But we got to see. Is he 100% healthy? I don't know. But a comeback fight against Mario Barrios, that'll let us know whether he's healthy or not. If he can go and, let's say, stop Mario Barrios or have a good performance where he's clearly back to being the same Keith Thurman, that could create buzz for a uh, Errol Spence fight or a uh, Terrence Crawford fight. But as of right now, we have to see that fight. I'm just upset that it's on pay-per-view. But all right, guys, that's my video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Every Wednesday at 7 p.m., I go live. So if you guys... Well, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. So if you guys want to call in one day and express your opinion to me or let me know how you disagree, whatever it is, please show up to my live 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific right here on this YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out. But all right, guys, until next time. Peace.